They have almost like the newborn baby smell. Hello. It's just a really nice, soft smell. Very satisfying. I'm Lauren, and this is a story about sulfur-crested cockatoos for GOBs. I live in Sydney, Australia. I've always loved birds, and cockatoos are quite common here. Um, excuse me, what are you guys doing in the house? I decided that I would start feeding them. I can open. And spending time with them and getting to know them. I was actually afraid of them at first because they're quite big and they have large beaks and scratchy claws. Please don't bite my feet. <laughs> as I started getting to know them, they would tell all of their friends. So soon the whole flock found out about me and would start coming to visit every afternoon. Good afternoon, my friend. <laughs> Hello, Bula. Come here. Good boy. I have a few neighbors in the area that also have cockatoo cafes. Looking fluffy tonight. All the local cockatoos know which balconies operate cockatoo cafes, and I can see some of the cockatoos leave my balconies and fly directly over to the other cockatoo cafes. <laughs> You are looking for something. It's really important to feed them foods that are healthy for them. I've chosen almonds as my specialty to feed them because it leaves the least mess around the building. Hey. I can't give them apples because they drop the apple skins everywhere and then my neighbors complain about the apple skins all over the balcony. The best feeling was when they started trusting me to jump onto my arm and jump onto my shoulder. Hello. You're my first shoulder passenger ever. Hello. I really love sharing that with them. And it sounds silly, but they smell really good. They keep themselves clean with kind of a feather dust and it smells really nice. nice to come home from work, hang out with the cockatoos, and it's just a very comforting, nice smell. Hey, you cutie pie. We actually trained the flock that we won't feed them in the morning because they tend to squawk really loudly in the morning and disturb everyone. So they stopped landing in the morning and then around three o'clock, four o'clock every afternoon, they'll all come and gather. It just shows how intelligent they are. I think my husband is secretly still intimidated by their beaks a little bit. There you go. Sometimes you will get a new cockatoo who's not as used to us and they don't know that we don't feed in the morning. They use their big hard beaks and they will be constantly banging on the glass. My husband will be working from home, he'll be on a Zoom call and they will be tapping on the window constantly. Most of them stay outside, but some of them will come in just a little ways. We have this one special bird. His name is Prince Charming. Welcome to the balcony. He's not afraid to come into our apartment. Would you just let yourself in? He'll help himself to the almond container. He knows what it looks like. And he'll sit on the back of my husband's office chair when he's in a Zoom meeting. We joke that he's our landlord because it seems like he thinks he owns the house. How many almonds is the rent today? There's probably about 100 that live in the area. Woody has a lot of fans. Come on, Woody. Good boy. He has a funny shaped beak and it kind of looks like it's made out of driftwood or something like that. That's Woody. Hey, Woody. He loves to fly onto the sliding door and grip onto the side. Woody. That's not very sensible, is it? It's really funny. He'll hang on the door and then he'll eat almonds while he's hanging on the door. So floofy. They live for 70 to 80 years in the wild. Hey! You can tell differences between the cockatoos. They might look the same on the surface, but they all have little differences on their beaks or their eyelids, their feet. You are beautiful, Miss Coconut. The males have very dark black eyes, and the females have reddish brown eyes. I don't know where they roost. 
Come here, Bula. That's right. My husband and I have been looking for years. Every evening, they do fly in the same direction together, and we watch with the binoculars every night. We have driven with the car in that direction, but we've been unsuccessful so far in finding the tree. This is really perfect because I can really hang out with cockatoos and I can get that interaction and then they can also fly around in the wild and be super happy and fulfilled and live these great lives. Time to go. Would you like a drink? No. Would you like a drink? No. Would you like a drink? 